your step, cause I'm feeling myself. Throw a flag on the plate, man, somebody get the rough. Cop, blah, 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 blah. Man, somebody get some help. Pull up on the block. Hit the quad, hit the quad, hit the quad, hit the quad. I said, get down, I'm gonna swing your arm. I said, get down. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Jack. And I'm Lexi. And welcome to a three day week after an unexpected four day weekend. Snow days are also such a great little gift. I love it. Me too, but I think it's now time for a warm up. Well, can you tell us about the upcoming weather? And we also want to hear about lunch. Hi, Central. I'm Ashley, and today's weather is currently 29 degrees with a high of 35 and a low of 14. There's a 15% chance of participation and a two, hour, two mile per hour winds. And then today, for lunch is Big Daddy's hand tossed pizza, Coney Dog, and cheeseburger with sweet potato fries and salad and veggies. So, um, to the joke of the day, everybody's been asking me for this. So, I was going to tell you a joke about pizza, but never mind, it's too cheesy. Last but not least, a shout out to our very own Zach Ronovich. His birthday is today and he's turning a big 1 6. Happy birthday, Zach! Thanks. Next, we want to thank everyone involved in Mr. CCHS. Thanks to Renaissance Club for organizing and theater for providing the crew. Here's a look at the dance routines. Now here's what's happening around the building. This Thursday is parent-teacher conferences from 3.30 to 9.30. Please go to Sign Up Genius to schedule a time for you and your parents to meet with your teachers. Also that same night at 6 p.m. in the auditorium there will be a seminar on the ins and outs of starting at a two-year college and then transferring to a four-year college. For many of us this is a great cost-saving opportunity. And then at 7, also in the auditorium, there will be a second seminar to discuss changes in college financial aid beginning with the class of 2017. We highly recommend that juniors headed to college attend this seminar with parents and guardians. And then looking at this weekend, on Sunday, plan to attend NJROTC's All You Can Eat Spaghetti Dinner from 12 to 4 at the American Legion. Tickets are only $6 and can be purchased by any cadet or in the ROTC office. Next up, we have club news. Today, Key Club meets after school in the food room. Also after school today, CBS meets. Tomorrow, Handmade by Me will meet at 3.30 in the food room. And then, Guitar Club is canceled for the parent-teacher conferences. Next, let's check in with sports. It is so Good morning, Central. I'm Mackenzie. And 
and I'm Ethan. And here's some sporting news. First, we have resort news. The swim team complete, competed at sectionals on Saturday, and swimmers John Arado, Ben Casto, Marianne Gibney, Brianna Heger, Margaret Hoover, Wolfgang Marion, Griffin Patterson, Megan Patterson, Anthony Robinson, Warren Watson, Chloe Webb, and Stephanie Wilhelm all set personal records at the meet. A special congratulations goes to Maria Hoover and Griffin Patterson, who both set new school records in the 50 freestyle. Additionally, the following relay teams qualify for the, the district meet this Saturday at OSU. The girls medley relay of Margaret Hoover, Lauren Lynn, Marion Gibney, and Stephanie Wilhelm. The boys 200 freestyle relay of Griffin Patterson, Anthony, Ro Anthony Robinson, Tanner Smith, and Ever Stewart's. And the boys 400 freestyle relay of Griffin Patterson, Tanner Smith, Zach Fransack, and Evan Stewart. Good luck on Saturday, swimmers. Next, we have news for upcoming sports. For any girls interested in trying out for the Lady Comet soccer team, there will be an importing player slash parent preseason meeting on Wednesday, March 2nd at 530 in the cafeteria. If you plan on trying out, then you should plan to attend this meeting. See Coach Williams in room 259 with questions. And then outdoor track and field practice will begin on Monday, March 7th. If you're interested in participating, please sign up in the cafeteria during your lunch period starting today, Wednesday through Friday. An athlete parent information meeting will be held on Thursday, February 25th at 630. If you have any questions, please see Coach Reggie Kenny. And then here's what's happening this week. Boys basketball competes this Saturday at Pickerington. Gymnastics also competes this Saturday. They're headed to Miami Trace. And then, as we already mentioned, our swimmers are heading to OSU for a district meet. That's it in Sporting News. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Ethan. Next, we have Jesse and Zach with current events. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Jesse. And I'm Zach. So, Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia died February 13th. Here's some background info on the Supreme Court. Once you are appointed a judge, you serve for life. Unless they resign, retire, take senior status, or are removed by impeachment, but that has never happened. The Supreme Court was established in 1789 when the Constitution was ratified. The Supreme Court consists of a Chief Justice and eight Associate Judges. The judges are nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate. Antonio Scalia died at age 79. His death has sparked a big political battle on who will be Justice next. Obama says he will nominate a Justice in time, but Re Republicans say that he should leave it to the next administration. They say that it should be left to the people in the next presidential election. That's it for today. Back to you, anchors. Thanks, guys. That is truly an awkward situation. That's it for today. Have a great Wednesday. And enjoy a three-day week. See you tomorrow, Central.